<clears throat> What's going on to the good people of the Hustlers Kung Fu Nation? Few things that I'm getting ready to do, but I'll talk about that a little later. Why you should chase power and excellence. One of the things that you have to do is to keep pushing, which is hard. To keep pushing, to keep motivating yourself, to keep cranking the lever of your effort, that's hard. But it's necessary and you need to develop that into a habit. One of the things that you've got to understand is how to generate momentum. Now, momentum is very, very important in everything. Business, football, it, it gets you all excited. But you need to develop some momentum on chasing excellence. One of the things is, I'm in a few Facebook groups and I see a lot of people who get stuck. They're stuck on the name. They're stuck on the title. They're stuck on little stuff. You're going to get more out of life if you just put it out there, slap it on the table, and let the chips fall where they fall. And as the chips fall, you grab the chips and you look at them and you're like, oh, I learned this and I learned this and I learned this. There are so many people who never get momentum, who never build anything because they're scared of other people's opinion. What if I build this and people think it's funny? Let that go. Let it go. One of the things you have to do is to consistently put yourself out there. We're in this social media age where you got people who do one little stupid thing. Nick Whack, Patty Whack, and Dan Rue. Go to their Instagram pages. Dan Rue has 3 million followers. Nick Knack has... Uh, 1.8 and they just did this little stupid thing and it went viral and they making all kinds of money we live in that age of the social media age you know if you're like I'm an introvert hey Glendon I don't want to put myself out there I, I don't want to do a YouTube channel and show my face what are you afraid of Oscar what are you afraid of because you're, you know, this is the path. You know, there are YouTube channels where the people don't show their face. But these folks are massively talented. You know, if you're massively talented and you can put together a YouTube channel and not show your face, okay, go ahead and do it. But I'm, I'm telling you, because people connect with this. This is how I make a lot of money. People come and they see my face. They can see my eyes. They can check the whole ski low out. Then they're like, hey, you know, I'm going to buy one of these courses. I had a great weekend in sales this week. So one of the things you got to do is put yourself out there and consistently keep putting yourself out there. My first book was an editorial nightmare, but the content was actionable. I mean, I had all kinds of typos. I got screwed on the editing. I had to reissue the book three times. And I kept doing it because I was making money. So you can have something less than perfect and it can make money. I'm here to tell you, it can make money. It can be less than perfect. I, I had this ugly green cover on the book. And one of the things that I see with the Facebook groups is people have a case of the perfect itis. It's got to be perfect. It's got to look this way. Before I lunch, I see people who've been working on their course for a year. Here's the thing about that. The longer it takes you to put your stuff out, stuff out there, you can miss your market. This is the story of Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. And this is how I got put on. I wrote my first book, Making Money A to Z with self search and Auctions. And I worked on it like a maniac. I am so glad I did that because that 
gave me a 14 month head start before the shows came on. So when the shows came on, the people like went to the internet and they're like, hey, storage auctions, they found me. If I didn't have that 14 month head start, let's say it was a six month head start, I don't think things would have been good because a lot of people who had perfectivitis, they came in and they started putting out storage auction books toward the, the three year mark. And I had already noticed that that market had shifted because that, that market, you know, storage auctions, America was introduced to storage auctions. It was wild. It was like, man, it was like a modern day treasure hunt. Hey, let's go out there and bid. Let's watch these units. Let's see what people are losing. But once again, most of America's poor, so most of the stuff that's going to be in storage units ain't going to be that particularly great, which means you need to get it at a very cheap price so you can sell it and make money, which is the opposite of what's happened with storage wars. Those prices, I, I never paid those kind of prices for units. I got 10 by 20s full from the ruler to the tutor for like 100 bucks. So... Going back to what I'm telling you to do, put yourself out there, work hard, because, you know, the people who are taking like a year or two to put their stuff out, they can miss their markets. The markets, the markets are not static. The markets are dynamic. They're always changing, always changing. YouTube, Facebook, everything's always changing. So the longer it takes you to get your stuff together, you can miss the boat. Why you slowly taking your time? You're like picking at this, picking at this. At this. I, I've seen people ruminate over the colors of their websites, the titles of their website. Put that stuff out and fix it later if it needs fixing. Uh, I, I, I put it out. I, I put up these videos. And I noticed the more videos I did, the more traffic I got to the blog, the more traffic I got to the blog, the more sales that I made. It was pull this lever, get this result, right? And the only reason this happened is because I put myself out there. I talked a lot of smack. I used to clap back at my haters. Like, big dog clapping. I used to go after people. And I've calmed down. And I realized that, you know, once again, the internet's changed. It doesn't make sense to go after those people. Plus, I've learned how to moderate my message. But all this started because I put my stuff out, let the chips fell where they fell, and picked up the pieces later. Because a lot of you have big dreams, ambitions, and you want to do some stuff, but you just sitting and waiting and waiting to the wonderful that mythical, majestical, magical moment when it's all going to come together and it's going to be easy. This, none of this from writing that book, from doing these YouTube videos, none of this was easy. It was doable, but it wasn't easy. And you need to let this, this dream of comfortably getting rich, where you get a lot of money and you're uncomfortable, the more that you put yourself out of your comfort zone, the greater, the more money you're more likely you're going to make. The better off your situation will be. Because once again, I, I, I'm a guy that had a dream. It was living in the storage, you know, a boarding house, living around crackheads, crackheads, my friends, living in the hood. And I'm matriculated because I got busy. None of this happened because I wished it to happen. Through hard work, willpower, and effort, and a little bit of luck. And let's talk about luck. The harder you work, the luckier you're going to get. And it's very, I find that happens all the time. Like I worked on my Craigslist marketing thing. The harder I work, the more money I made, the luckier I got. And one of the things that you know that you got to let go is everyone's looking for passive income. This little thing that they can sprinkle a little hustle dust on and then be done with it and go off and do what you really want to do. Tell me how that's working out for you. Tell me how the little hustle dust, little hustle dust. Because essentially, one of the things 
that happens is people do not understand the mechanics of success because whenever they interview someone, they will give you the politically correct answer on why they're successful and they will not give you the real success. Like a lot of these actresses, well, you know, I worked and I met this producer and it all worked out. And she was sucking the D on the casting couch. But she ain't going to say that because that's not socially acceptable, even though it may be true. Or he got the job because his father owned the studio. We, we don't want to talk about that. Or he built his business after breaking his nuts for about 15, 20 years. You know, it's like, you know, you see the results now. You see the car, you see the house, you see the trophy wife, you see all that stuff now. But the, the thing is, you know, a lot of people don't talk about how hard the journey is. And this is one of the differences about this channel is I tell you, this is hard. Like YouTube, for six months, YouTube was very hard for me. I, I did not like putting myself out there. But I forced myself out there. I forced myself to do these videos. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron making money A to Z with self storage during auctions. And I went with it, and I went with it, and I went with it, and I consistently showed up. See, the, this half hearted, half stepping stuff, uh, you know, spending a bunch of time on busy stuff that don't make any money, that ain't going to get you where you want to be, bro. It ain't going to get you where you want to be. So you need to put yourself out there take the feedback of putting yourself out there and you know sometimes it, it's the feedback gonna be like lumps of, upside your head feedback's gonna be critical and harsh take it one of the things I used to do as a salesperson I was like hey why didn't I get the job where did I screw up you know you can tell me I won't beat you up this is the stuff that people who want to get better do this is one of the things that you should understand about success. Success is a marathon. It's not a sprint. A lot of y'all want it to, oh, oh, I'm running. I'm running fast as I can. Get to the end. Bam. That should, it, don't, it don't work like that. Success will be many, 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 many sprints. It, it, it's a, a season of training and pep, preparation and putting yourself out there because a lot of you are just scared. A lot of you, like, go back to my video. You're getting older. You know, you're getting poor. That that video is starting to do well. Because it resonates with people. Because it's facts. So if you want to change, because here, here's the deal. With today's life expectancy, there's a good chance you can make it to 80. There's a good chance, you know, you might make it to 100. Because the thing is, if you make it to 65 with really no problems, the expectation is that you're going to make it to 85, 90. Don't you want some money in your old age? Don't you want some money to take some trips, to spoil the grandkids, to live your life? Because what's going to happen is not having money as a young person is hard, but since you're, you, you have youth to account for that. Imagine being old frail, sick, and poor. That's just not a good situation, man. And that's where many of you are heading because you were playing around. I got tools to help you have a beautiful future. Matter of fact, we're going to roll this wonderful bean footage showing you what you get with H undergrad and you have two choices so you can go ahead and check it out now because we'll roll that in a minute but the whole thing is you need money today you need money tomorrow you need money next year and you gonna need money 10 years from now you're gonna need money from 20 years from now you you gonna need some money and the best way that I know for you to change your financial circumstances is to start a business as scary as that may be, because, you know, when I got on this path, I didn't know how I was going to do this. 
I was like, I'm going to figure it out. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. And in time, I started to figure it out. So start figuring it out and watch this commercial. And I'll talk to you guys later. Let's talk about how to make money in 2020, regardless of a recession with your business model and advanced hustle. One of the things that happens during a recession is things slow down, but the companies that keep marketing, the companies that keep pushing do well. I've weathered four recessions. Uh, the first Three, I had a job. And the last one, I had a business and my business grew. And I fully expect that to happen this time. So what I've done, because there's been a lot of people who've been asking, hey, how can I join H undergrad? How can I get into that? How can I start making money? First of all, you got to get the mental foundation to building up your business. That is a critical, critical component to being successful with your business model or advanced hustle. I've got the data. I've looked at it. The people who've done the best with my courses already had the right mindset. So there are many folks here who are looking for a personal guarantee. And I can give you one. If you do the work, if you're not a yard bird, if you apply yourself, you'll make money. I can guarantee you that. So there's your guarantee. But the thing is, are you going to hold up your end of the bargain? Because this is, you know, everybody wants to make that Wi-Fi money without really doing too much. And you're going to have to do some stuff with H undergrad, you're going to have to go ahead and put yourself in the driver's seat of success. Now, one of the things that I'm doing a little different. So let me go ahead and set this up. What I've done is you're going to get the courses. It's kind of like a car deal. You know, you get to drive the car for a little money down and you get to enjoy the car while you pay for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you two versions of H undergrad. First of all, you're going to get these access to the courses. Plus, I'm going the courses are arranged in the order that you should take them but you'll have full access to them. So the first one is Hustler Undergrad Basics. It includes the pre-purchase of the courses for 99 per month for 20 months. And H Undergrad Premium is $200 per month, which will include live training once a month. So that's your two ways to get in. So what we're gonna do is, and the way that I set this up is, it makes sense. First of all, you know, you can get the Hustle Mindset, Pip Your Mind for Success book to tune you up. That's part of the course. You can go below the video and get it for free. The Hustle of Mindset, Pip Your Mind for Success, Volume 3, Primal Drive. That's part of the course. Your next course you'll take is Becoming the Boss. The next course you'll take is How to Never Be Broke Again. The next course you'll take is the $25 Hustle. The 10 Essential Steps to Hustling, the Craigslist Marketing Course, the 24-Hour Startup, the Side Hustler Starter Pack, which gives you access to the storage auction books, the Crippy Craigslist, and all that other stuff. I've included these older webinars to get your mind right. Asking for the Money, the Uber Sales Course, 
See, what you're going to do is you're going to go through all of this stuff first. There's a pathway like you go to college, you got to do your freshman year before you do your junior year. So you should go through the hustler mindset, pimp your mind for success first and get these books, then becoming the boss. And then you go through all of this stuff before you get to asking for the money. I'm also going to include the art of holding companies. All that stuff is included in this. Fat Cat Secrets, how LLCs make you bank. Fat Cat Secrets, Fat Cat Secrets contracts, how to organize parroting companies, what, why, what, and where. 30 Days to 2500, the original course. 30 Days to 2500, the physical course. And I threw in the child support and disruptive mating. So you've got a money-making curriculum here all for 99 bucks a month or you do 200 per month what i will do is i will throw in the folks who are doing 200 bucks a month i will throw in this course so you will get that and once again, you know, if you're getting the basics, you can buy this separately because the courses are arranged to gently take you through a path of how I started, how I got my hands dirty, the things that I did, the things that I put together, the things that I shaped together. And this is what the course will do for you. And you've got 20 months to pay for it. And this is one of the things that I should stress. As you go through the course, within three to five months, you should be making money. If you're going through the courses and you're putting some stuff together, you should be making money. So I'm giving you these courses where once you start making money, you won't even be paying for the courses, because the information in the courses you can use to create income. That's the guarantee. If you are actually on these courses, doing what you need to do, taking the courses, executing, putting stuff out there. So you should be making money long before your last payment. There's no one else that's doing this. And I have videos up here on YouTube for free. They'll make you money. So that's your guarantee. This is the new thing that I'm doing. Plus, there will be some other education. Now, this will not include the dominant male. This will not include that. That's a separate educational track for those who really, really want it. And that will, you know, go to the influence frame, all that stuff's over there. And let's talk about making money during a recession. You start your business and the key to making the money during a recession is staying out of debt. This is what kills most people. You got an advanced hustle model. There's no reason for you to be in deep debt. And one of the things that, you know, if you have a lot of personal debt, you need to be working on getting rid of that. That is like baggage. You know, before you start investing in a stock market or any type of investment, you should be debt free. So you have more money to apply to your investments versus having to separate your money. You know, you, you're separating your money between 10 different bills and then you're trying to invest in, you know, the 11th section. You know, bigger money invested yields bigger returns. Just facts. So. You know, and you could use these courses to create a strong hustle to retire debt. You can use these courses to create extra income out of nothing. Because one of the things that happens with people is everybody wants to chill out, you know, have work life balance. There's going to be a two to three year period where you, there will not be a work life balance. Because you're building that business. And that's hard for a lot of people to understand because there are many people under this false uh, notion that they can build a business, take eight, 
vacations per year and it's going to work out. I'm here to tell you it's not. For those of you who, you know, like if someone's getting married or you got a family reunion, go. That's like a once in a every now and then type thing. But, you know, roll up your sleeves, be prepared to give up your weekends, be prepared to give up your free time so you can live like no one else lives. So you can set yourself up to have the lifestyle that you want in the future. You know, you may not have it now. I mean, when I was in that boarding house, I I didn't see this. I didn't see my life being this way. I knew I wanted it to be this way, but I didn't really see it until I actually got into business. And it's going to be hard for you to see until you actually get into business and you get exposed to new people, different people, uh, folks who are attempting to do something big and bold with their life. That's one of the things about starting a business and developing business owners as friends is your perspective drastically expands. Because at the end of this course, you should have a functional business that makes at least a thousand bucks a month. So you're going to pay two grand for the course over time. And, you know, let's say you, 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 it takes you six months to get your hustle going on. This is new income. This is income you didn't have before. So essentially, the sooner that you are go through the courses, you get them locked down. And the sooner you get to the part where you're making money, this course is free. This course is free. I want you to think about that. The minute that you start using the information and the training contained in these courses, this course starts to become free because that's new money you never had before. That's new money that you never had before. And I know from the income stats that an extra thousand bucks a month is life changing for most of you. You know, uh, hopefully you'll do more, but that's the minimum. That's the the ground floor because, you know, I have people who um, took my advice and take this course and this information and apply it to a service business and you will make money much faster. But I want you to think about it. You spend two thousand dollars over the next 20 months to get this course. And then year one, you make. Twelve thousand, that's ten thousand dollars to the plus side that you never had year two. You make twenty two thousand. That's twenty two thousand dollars that you wouldn't have had year three, because the thing is, with these courses is once you get in business and once you learn these lessons, they keep giving for the rest of of your life. The stuff that I learned at Renegade, I still use to this very day. So it's, you got to look at it from the expansion of what your life will be in the future with the training that's enclosed in these courses, because, you know, three years from now, you're making an extra 30, $40,000 a year on top of your job. That's substantial. That's bill paying money. That's mortgage paying money. And that's where I want to get you guys and take you there in a method that you will not freak out. Because, you know, if I sit here and say that, you know, in a year's time, you guys would go go from where you are to 100,000. Most of you would freak out. It's too much. It's too fast. It's unbelievable because there's levels to getting money. And this course and this curriculum will take you through the levels. Uh, some people could handle, you know, going from nothing to 100K. Some people can't. Most people can. Most people freak out. I remember I had a roommate one time that I didn't have a check on me, but I had to cash her rent. And I just gave her cash and she freaked out. It was like 600 bucks. And she was like, oh, I feel like a drug dealer with $600. So people, people are not used to having excess cash because it's so rare. You know, it's not a norm for many people to have, you know, 50 to 100. And I don't recommend keeping millions in the bank. But if you got money coming in so fast that stacks up like that, so be it. But, you know, 
the most you should keep in the bank is 150, 200, 300 K because you know, money in the bank loses money because it's not working for you. You know, you could leave it in there like a year or two and it'll be okay because you're not going to lose too much, but more than that, you lose a lot of buying power. But what this course will do is teach you, you know, if you get the financial education thing, like for the folks who go for the $200 per month option, you're going to get the financial course. Um, that's life. That's a game changer. So you're going to get used to having money because this is the component. Because once you start your business and you go through this basic financial management course, you'll be set up where you optimize your money already. So when the new money comes in, it doesn't get absorbed in lifestyle creep. Like I had some people start some business and the, the money from the business was paying for daycare and all these other things, which, you know, if you got to do that, you got to do that. But that doesn't help the business grow. So once you go ahead and get your money situated where you can optimize your income, you, you know, you, you got all your bills paid. You got this extra two, three, four, five grand coming in a month. And it actually can come in and stack up because you've optimized your money. You've gotten rid of bills. You know how to have the five checking account blueprint. You're allocating money. You're paying yourself. You, you always have money. Uh, what this course is going to do is you're always going to have money. Like I did this today. Because I'm using a new PayPal account. Well, an old, old PayPal account. And I just went into the bank and got this out the ATM. Thousand bucks. And I will be able to go to that PayPal account tomorrow, the day after, and withdraw another thousand bucks. And this is money that I'm putting into my real estate fund to buy a house. Because, you know, they can only allow you a thousand because, you know, I could link up the checking account and just transfer the money, which I probably do. But it's just nice going to the ATM, putting that ATM card in there and hearing that. <laughs> and, you know, then go ahead and put it in the bank because I, I, I probably as that account grows, I'm probably going to have to, you know, sub the check in the account and transfer the money because it will be too large for cash deposits. But this is what I'm talking about. All my bills are paid. I don't have any credit card debt. I got extra money coming in that I could have put into an account to put into investments of assets. And that's where I want you to be. And that's what this course will do for you. Because it's a, look at the long term. Uh, one of the things that's a big problem is we have a lot of people who have short term thinking. I need money now because I'm in pain right now. I got to pay rent. I got to pay child support. I need that money right now. And as long as you're in that right now situation, you're never going to change your financial life. You're never going to be in a situation where you can stack money because you have no financial discipline. There should be no reason that you're in a situation where you need money right now. You're mishandling money. You're mistreating money. You don't respect money. And this is why you don't have any. Because, you know, essentially you want to have money on your credit card, on you and in the bank. You want to have money three places because this is what's funny about money. Money attracts more money. So if you're in a situation where you don't have no money, you have no money to attract any more money. And, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I used to be the person who used to go to the pawn shop, did the title pawn loan thing. And actually borrowed money from friends because I was so broke. I had no personal discipline, no financial discipline. I was just living for the moment. And you got to get out of that because, you know, going through these courses. Let me show you what this will do for you. All right. So. How to never be broke again. This is a very important co course and it's early. 
and the $25 hustle. Because the, essentially what's happening is I'm bringing you guys along in baby steps. I know that mentally, you know, it, it sounds nice to win the lottery and, you know, go from nothing to millions of dollars. But why lottery winners broke after so many years? Because they don't know how to handle money. You know, I, I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like someone wins $150 million and then they're in trouble. You know what $150 million will do? You can take $100 million, buy commercial real estate and blow $50 million and never be broke again a day in your life. You will have monthly reoccurring revenue. Yet these folks... They see money as I got one hundred and fifty million. I don't need to do anything else when that type of money dictates that you do something else. Because if you just took a hundred hundred million and parked it in apartment complexes. You probably get. Three. Probably, you know, one to three million, depending on how you buy it per month in reoccurring revenue. One to three million per month. So after, you know, three or four years, you've got your principal back. Now you, you now, now, now they're just a cash cow. And, you know, we'll be talking about this for those people who choose the um, $200 per month option. I'm going to have a lot of classes about money, what to do with money, how to do money. Once again, you, you're not getting into the dominant male stuff. Those are going to be separate educational tracks. Because one of the things is this is for people who want to change their lives. So, you know, becoming the boss, how to never be broke again, the 25 dollar hustle, the 10 essential steps to hustling, the Craigslist marketing course that will do so much for you. It really will. The side hustler starter pack. So this gives you a lot here, right here. How to start an online business for 500. Pimpin Craigslist for fun and profit. Hustling 105. How to start your business as fast as possible. 10 essential steps to hustling now in the future, how to get a secure credit, you know, just stuff for people who are in, who are on the fringes of finances, who, who've never really had the proper financial education. And, you know, if you are broke Dick Danny, the Craigslist marketing course, that's 24 hour startup. All this is beginner rookie stuff. And as you go through the course, because when you get here, this is when things get more real. And then the art of holding company, fat cat secrets, you get all of that. Then 30 days to 2,500, because when you're getting into, when you hit this juncture, you should be making a thousand or more a month when you get here. So once you've got to that level, then, you know, there, there will be some people who will take this course and get to 10, 15, 20 K per month within a year. Cause there are some people who just get it, who understand. And there are some people who are going to, you know, cause everybody learns at their own pace and there are going to be some people it's going to take them a year to get up to a thousand dollars per month. But if you're making 25, 30 K a year, and you create your own business making a thousand dollars a month. That's twelve thousand. That's thirty percent of your income. Well, actually, if you're making twenty five, that's fifty percent of your income. That's a game changer. So I got all of this stuff in here. And what I want you guys to do is to go through the course the way it was intended, because some people will like jump around like I don't need this. Understand this is the process that I went through to get where I'm at. I went through the resale. I went through the company formation. I went through all this other stuff. And I'm taking you through these courses through the same journey that I went through. And you may skip around and you may short circuit yourself because lessons that were learned from the storage auction business helped me with my Internet business. 
because business knowledge builds upon itself. And the more data points, the more information you have, the more that it's going to stand out, the more that you're going to be able to accomplish, the more resources you will have at your hands. Because once again, this is the pathway that I took. This is the only way I know how to do it. I don't, I don't know how to do anything else. So you've got that. And, like, you know, once again, for those who opt to um, – let's see, we'll make a change because you're not getting the disruptive mail stuff. So I need to go ahead and get that out of there because the disruptive mail stuff, you know, because – what I will do for people who buy disruptive mail stuff, I will give those guys discounts for this stuff because, you know, part of being a dominant, competent man is having your own economics. And this is something I have been stressing for years. And a lot of people just don't get it, don't want to get it, want to keep hoping and believing that they will be empowered by doing what they're doing and it's just not going to happen. So there, there's a lot here. So let's get rid of that. And this is Hustler Undergrad. All right. So there we have it. And for those of you who want to get past this because, you know, let's see. You can buy this package all at once and save a G and get this if you buy this. Or if you don't want all that and you just want the holding company stuff, you can get that because I'm about to change the price of the holding company stuff. So and I'm going to make some more changes because essentially, like I said, you know, I've been talking about we were about to get into some massive educational training. And one of the things that I'm going to do for the people who bought the first version of H undergrad they're going to get all of the monthly trainings because uh, that's something I used to do and I've gotten away from that. So we're going to go back to that. We'll be covering various topics about starting businesses, making money. And, you know, so you'll be able to get this, but your best, the most bang for your buck will be the $200 option. And essentially, this is how this works. Once you go ahead and you sign up, give me 24 hours to add you to your respective course and set your password and everything. So, And one of the things is, you know, um, probably, you know, there will be one major educational thing once a month. I realized I was rolling too fast for you guys. You know, it's like, bam, here's an idea. Let's do it today. And I didn't give people enough time to reserve that space. So 
I'm going to give y'all like two or three weeks notice of what's going to happen and how it's going to happen and things we're going to talk about. So this is how you're going to make money in a recession, because the thing is, last recession, I made more money. And currently we're in a recession and I'm making, you know, my income has gone up. Because people are in a situation where they need the knowledge and the training to start a business. And that's what you're going to get here. You can start a business or an advanced hustle model. An advanced hustle model is where you take, like, say, painting and you turn that into a business or you take haul offs or you take cutting grass or this will help you with all of that. Because essentially, once you get through this, you'll be ready because, you know, essentially once you're making money, because you can start a business and make money for a few months and then set up your holding company and operating structure. This is something, you know, unless you know for sure that you're going to get into this, this is one of the things that you can do to set that up, because essentially how good would it feel? to have two, $3,000 in the bank that you can use for your holding company expenses. Uh, this is one of the bigger issues is people are like, I don't have enough money. You're, you're not really being active. You're not uh, setting yourself up properly because you're not doing anything. Sitting here watching YouTube videos is good. But not taking action is bad. And what these courses are going to do are going to prompt you to take action. They're going to prompt you to get busy. So once again, this is how you get in. Go right up there. You know, pick out if you're going to take Hustle Grad Premium. Or are you going to take Hustler Undergrad Basic? It includes the purchasing, you know, because you're, you're you're having access to all these courses. So it's it's just like a car contract, a, a car loan. You have the car, even though you haven't paid for it. So just be aware of that because you can go in here and take these courses at your time. Or and I recommend that you set up a training schedule where every day that you go through some course work and every day you apply the principles that are in these courses, because that's how you're going to make faster progress by having a structure of a schedule. Just like every Saturday, I'm going to sit here for four or five hours. If that's all you got, that's all you got, but that's not optimum. The optimum thing would be to spend five to seven days a week on these courses taking it a little bit in and actually go over these courses three to four times. Cause each time you go over it, you're going to hear something that you did not hear the first time. So this is one of the things. And probably for people who get the hustler grad option after your first few payments, your first payment, I'm going to put you in the basic financial course and then I'm going to put you in some of these other courses as a thank you. But I'll do that per month. And, you know, just once again, you're, you're not going to get into the dominant male stuff or the ex these education track that's over here. And I've said that three times because I know people will ask because people are like because, you know, essentially. You know, we, we got women over here who, who want nothing to do with the dominant male, which is cool. But they're looking for the education that's in H undergrad. So here's the deal. And once again, give me 24 hours or less to add you, to set you up, and I'll do that. And we'll be rocking and rolling. Because the thing is, success is a process that leaves clues. And if you tweak a few things in your life each day, you'll get closer and closer 
to success. You'll get closer and closer to the life that you want. You'll get closer and closer to achieving the things that you want. You will get that Wi-Fi bread. You will live a better life. And rich folks, you know, God willing, tend to typically live longer than poor folks. I, I see it all the time. You know, I think Mellon lived to be 107. You know, the dude had like three liver transplants. They kept that old guy alive. But, you know, once again, in, in my video, you're getting older and poorer. Let's say you're you're 40 something and you get on this track. You get older and you get richer. Because typically the average man income peaks around 45. Then it starts going down, 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 down. By employing and doing this, your income can go up. You can make more money the older you get because you're, you're making yourself more valuable. You're making yourself a producer, an asset to society. Because that's what happens when you start a business. You become a problem solver on a at scale. You're solving multitude people's problem. You start a restaurant, you're solving the problem of people being hungry. You start an apparel company, you're solving the problem of people having something to wear. You start an education company, you're educating people who need your education. So starting a business makes you a massive problem solver at scale. And there's intrinsic value to that. And there's so many rewards. You know, when I go through the comments and I'll see someone because of this dude, this is why I started my service business and I'm making $1,500 to $2,000 a month. That's real. That's real people getting real results. And if you watch this channel and you've attended the live streams, you have seen multitude of people making that Wi-Fi bread and, you know, like, like what I like to call the 5% because there, I don't know what it is with the average person that unless something bad happens, most people just don't move unless something really bad happens. And maybe this was what happened to me. I had all types of misery in my life. I had, you know, I was living in a crackhead boarding house. I was living in the West end, a bad neighborhood a lot of pain just living. And I don't recall ever being like super happy. I had some good moments in the hood, but not like my life today where I'm always happy, where I'm always looking forward to stuff, where I'm always positive. And it, this is success begets positivity. So the more success you have in your life, the more positive you'll be. And this is a good thing. <clears throat> and also, if you have kids, now let's talk about this. You can teach them the stuff that you learned. So you can spend that $2,000 or $4,000 in the next 20 months or, you, well, like $6,000. You can spend that money now. And that money could inform your kids how to make money when they're adults. So this small investment is really small when you look at it from that level that you have increased your income. Now you're teaching your kids how to set up themselves where their income. So you can spend that $2,000 or $6,000 now, and we could be talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years for you and your kids, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Over time, your kids will never be poor. Your kids will never have to work a job they don't want to work. Think about that as a parent that you can give your kid that kind of legacy. Think about how you can set that up. Think about how you can empower them to be positive, productive people. Think about that. Because once again, you know, you, you, you're the, nowhere else is you're getting this where you can go ahead and do this like a car loan where you have access to the information and you pay for it over time. And, you know, 99 bucks a month, that's most people can do that. I ain't trying to break your pockets. I'm not trying to stick you up with a gun. So go ahead and get in this. And I will see you guys later.
because we're about to do a lot of educational training. A lot of stuff is coming your way and just be prepared for it. So with that, I'll see you guys later.